back there. Oh. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm back with another video. I'm gonna be unboxing just a regular Ghostface costume, regular Fun World one, the mass-produced one's not a fancy one, which isn't too special. But the reason why I have this is because me and some friends are starting a new channel, which is going to be a Ghostface themed YouTube channel. And basically what it is, is it's going to be YouTube videos that you would see on any other channel, but it's going to be Ghostface. So I needed the costume, and I decided to go with the Fun World costume, at least for right now. I might get another robe later on down the road that's more accurate to the movies. The Fun World robe was the robe used in the scary movie parody. I'm definitely not going to use the mask that comes with it. I've got this mask and this mask here that I'm going to be using instead. But I still wanted to get a fun world rope with a mask just because, why not? Let's get right into this thing. Here's the costume. Here's the mask. And uh, the mask that came with it wasn't the mask I was expecting it to come with. I was expecting it to come with a generic ultra white or some other type of mask, but the mask is actually a resin mask. And plastic. So, uh, bit of a pleasant surprise there. Um, I'm still not going to wear it with the costume. I'm going to wear this mask and that mask. Shit. I don't fucking need anything. God damn it. And, uh, oh shit, there's the, uh, belt that I'm not going to use. Yeah, there's the mask, because usually when you get a costume mask, it's all smushed and shit. But, uh, now I've got a resin mask, which is actually pretty neat. May or may not paint this, but, you know, since it's resin, it'll be easier to paint than, uh, vinyl. Uh, this little bib here is barely attached, which is kind of dumb, but whatever. The main thing we want was the robe here. And, uh... Here it is. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try this thing on with, I think, this mask. The only thing I'm gonna do with this robe is uh, add some Velcro to the hood, have a strip of Velcro on the top of this mask, and on the top of this mask, so that way I can attach it to the hood. I'm not gonna mod the sleeves or anything, I'm just gonna leave them the uh, generic foam rolled sleeve, because I actually really like the way this looks. You know, it's not like the ones in the movies, but whatever, who gives a fuck? You know, there's going to be several other people on the channel. They want to get a screen accurate robe, then they can get one. And uh, in the theater scene in the opening of Scream 2, all the robes that the uh, moviegoers were wearing are actually very similar to the Foam World robe. So, somewhat movie accurate, I guess you could say. Stay. Stay. Alright, so I got the robe on, and it actually fits me perfectly. Which is really good. Uh, the costume didn't come with gloves. They usually come with gloves, but uh, I wasn't going to use the gloves that came with it anyways. I've got some other gloves ordered that go up the sleeve. I'm going to wear those with this costume. This particular mask is actually a mask I modified. It didn't have a hood on it, so I needed to add a hood. And it had some black spots here on the side of the face, so I repainted the entire thing. Um, I left the eye mesh in because it had decent eye mesh. Added that heavy duty strap to it. It's got the Velcro here on top of the mask. If I do any modifications to this robe, it'll be to the back. For whatever reason, they have a slit up the back of the neck with a drawstring. I don't know why. Uh, I think I'm going to sew that up. Because after taking this thing on and off, that's just going to split open. So I'm probably going to sew that up. Other than that, I'm not really going to do anything to this costume. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I may or may not get a screen accurate robe later on. Um, as of right now, pretty much everybody is going to be using the uh, foam rolled robe. Kevin has one that he modified the uh, drapes and made those more accurate. I'm pretty sure Daniel's using a foam rolled robe. But everybody wants to get a screen accurate robe eventually. So I may or may not keep using the foam rolled robe just to represent the foam rolled costume on this channel. Try to be a little bit different. Or if I do get a screen used robe, switch back and forth between that one and this one. If I do get a screen accurate robe, I might actually make my own instead of buying one. Because getting one, a custom made one, they're a bit overpriced. And I'd rather make my own because it would be cheaper. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. I guess I gotta do another test with this mask here. 
and I'll try it on with this mask just for the hell of it. Alright, so now I have it on with the other mask, and this is just a standard 2011 Scream 4 ghost face mask. And the only thing I've done to this mask is add a strip of Velcro right here. Um, I don't know which mask I'm going to use more. I like the way this mask looks, but I painted it with Plasti Dip, but I don't know how often I'll be able to use it because of that. But I also really like the way this mask looks. You know, even though it was just an average ghost face mask, I really love the way it looks. So I may or may not use this one more often. And I'm also going to use other masks every now and then. There's a bunch of different ghost face masks, and we can switch it up in the videos. So yeah, just for the hell of it, I just want to try this mask on, so that way you see what the mask that comes with the costume looks like. So this is what the mask looks like that comes with the costume. Uh, they don't put hoods on the mask that comes with the costumes because it's cheaper. All they do is give it a strap and this little bib thingy that's supposed to cover your neck. So at least they did the bib to hide your neck, but you can still see the sides of your head and maybe the top of your head when you're wearing it. Yeah, I'm definitely not using this. I just wanted to get the costume mask. It's more of a collectible, really. Because that's true. I really like the costume mask just as a, you know, collectible piece. You know, I have a few costume masks. Also, the eye mask. It, you can't even tell it's there. I could replace the eye mask, but I'm not going. I'm not going to use this. So I guess that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll leave a link in the description below to the channel that we're going to be working on together. There's no videos on it as of right now, but we have videos that we're working on at the moment that will be uploaded eventually. So yeah, definitely check it out, guys, and I hope you enjoy.